Hello everyone, welcome to Portal Stories Mel. This is made by a mod team named Prism Studios, and this was released back in 2015, and it's probably the closest you'll get to a Portal Portal 3 type game. And it's uh, it's a game I did play back in the day, but it's been almost eight or nine years now since I've played it. And when I first played it, I was running a um, pretty underpowered computer. And I thought after playing Portal and Portal 2, the game would run fine. But when you're running on a CPU from the AM1 socket with four gigs of RAM and a GT610, due to the foliage, it's, it's not gonna get very far. But I thought you guys would enjoy this game, and uh, it feels like a, a very Valvian game. So, let's get started. And Mel, well, before we get started, Mel is not officially part of the universe of Aperture, but most people accept it as a, um, as Portal War. That it should be canon. And I think it should be canon because it's such a well-made uh, game. It's considered a mod because you need Portal 2. And of course, if you click on options, it's got that Portal 2 aspect to it. But whatever. Let's go. New game. Five chapters. And the foliage is beautiful. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> 1952. One second. The damn sensitivity. Pardon me. Sorry. Leon? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? <laughs> uh, okay, so... so. This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. It's a pretty nice, some pretty nice tunes. Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because <laughs> you're fired! Get out of my office. 
office. Out. Get out. Out of my <laughs> office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> Did she just fire it again? Nineteen fifty two, a fantastic year. This is like the first time you see people inside Aperture roaming around. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Oh, well, uh, that must be a record. Sorry. Make that three minutes. Hmm. Toilet's out of service. Mm. Can I get me an aperture soda? No? Huh. Well, that's just main. Aperture subway bulletin area 2B. Turret test lab, storage 6 and C. 6, 8, C. Hello, sir. Ah, he's sleeping on the job. KV. Oh, an exit. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to leave. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> that's thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Oh, so it's like flimsy. That's nice. We love flimsy. Aperture Science Innovators, established in 1947. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, we get the American flag. Asbestos. <laughs> Gower curtains. Yep. Really? <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Okay, well, you did tell me. So everybody's sleep. This is already a test area. Ooh, so that's the future you're aiming for, Cave Johnson. I see it, it's quite beautiful. In space. Ah. The amount of work they put into this, and it's a free mod too on Steam. Only requirement, you do need Portal 2. Alright, there was there's some scientists. He looks like he's sleeping. He's just standing there. Alright, well... I'm not gonna judge. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my beam counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. What do you mean the stairs aren't ready? Let me, let me go see these stairs that you've been going on about. Oh man, the stairs are... Okay. Ooh, moon landing rockets. That's pretty cool. Now, the amount of art in this. Some are higher quality than others, but it's quite beautiful. Ooh, I like this. The armored sled. And those actually do exist, but those are funky. Alright. See, I am there. 
and I need to go down there. Calm down there, Gavy. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. All right, what is it? This thing. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Ooh. Those guys can kiss my... Sir, that's anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, but I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. All right, I'm excited. Now, we all know what happens in the next 40 years to Black Mesa. <laughs> Alien invasion and all hell breaks loose. Their new two companies could cause so much damage. We almost done? We almost done there? When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Sounds like you win here because, um... I feel like you're not going to wake me up. This is one hell of a l elevator. Really puts into perspective how massive this place is. Oh, well, finally. Shut the lights off on me. That's so, kind of rude. As I said on the last pre recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short term relaxation vault for a quick deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. What we'll have the a hell? For you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets, they're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. I, d I don't want to know about Crazy Harry. This is a very beautiful place down here. Now, it'd be cool in real life to have something like this. Entire underground location with some grass and some trees growing. Ah, yes, the science. Mm -hmm. Ashtray? Please do not litter. The proper term is loiter. Danger! So that's not water. 
Hold on, can I jump in? Okay, so yeah, you do die. <laughs> Thanks. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. Yeah, Real yeah, I know, you. I know. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're fired blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. Ten cents. <clears throat> six signs, boys. Disappear, is it? Gotta see what's going on. So we got our typewriters. Jam. To type up their beautiful reports. Now somebody really has a power drive. Sit in a comfy chair while we they all sit in the crap ones. With an evil corporation. Portal pad, yes. Where your respite respirator? I don't need no respirator. Respirators are overrated nowadays. Ah, the uh, the beginning of the turrets. Quite nice. And they have all food facts. Everything. Dry apples, chewies, with sweet smashed home killed meat. How to make porridge. Ugh. Oh well. Gotta go take a nap. Let's gorgeous man, Cave Johnson. Hey, Don't what? worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. I feel like they will kill me. Let's. Ooh. Ooh. Jukebox. Nice. Give Johnson, shower curtain salesman of 1943 Aperture Fixtures. Where they all started. Loaded with asbestos. Okay. Putting me in one of these things? Don't like that, but uh, it looks you cozy. Message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the desk ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Well, if you say so, I trust you, Cave Johnson. Nap time, finally. This is what I signed up for. Beautiful red lights, what are they? There's no emergency. Is a is is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a uh, Slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Okay. Uh, oh, wonderful. Such a wonderful place. 
Um... Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. So you just want me to jump? Okay. Where did I put these boots on? Or did you put it on for me? No. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you uh, a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. No, oh, wonderful. Uh, old reliable. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Yeah, I, it was not like this when I came uh, in here. Don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spares in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore it's got that. a paper clip on the left notch. Hmm. Yeah, it's totally built like this. <laughs> right. And it looks like... And the way the game's built, it relies on you bringing in knowledge from Portal 2, so it doesn't need to teach you much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks a bit different. water much needed oh suppose you want me over there don't mind all this too we just had uh, earthquakes lots of earthquakes it doesn't yeah, yeah relax me here in Michigan Welcome to Aperture, where science is theoretical, but your 60 bucks is a fact. 60 bucks. It's worth nothing nowadays. Mm hmm. Can I go to here? Nope. I need to use, I think, my orange portal? There we go. In These me. earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. I, I feel like you're lying to me, but right, what do so, I know? The earthquakes kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Okay, so it looks like you want me to jump from that area. You want me to jump from that area, you want me to probably go in here. And that'll send me through a pipe. Okay. Let's give it a shot. No harm in trying. There's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. You would be correct. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some, some uh, amateur science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Sure, sure. Yeah, all these pipes just appeared out of nowhere. You got you and your nanobots. I've only been asleep probably like 24 hours, which is fine. I am to be tested. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know more there.
I, f I feel like maybe we should talk whoever this is. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. A real genius. Oh, wow, that actually just straight up kills you. Yep, that definitely prevents you. I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving. If you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that caused... I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Two switches. Yeah, I, I can figure this one out. Mm -hmm. Though I don't exactly know where I'm supposed to go. Which is a problem. So two switches. And yeah, that's an interesting... Interesting thing. Station... X. So we got an X here. Wah. Okay, so what if I click the switch again? Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Here's what I can do. I have a portal set over there. We'll set a portal in here. That'll open up that area. And then I can slide through. Look at me being smart. Hold on. Right, I could just do that. And bam. Open her up! We'll get a good look. And that's all lifted by one hydraulic. Let us be off, my wonderful friends. A seamless transition into the next level. Well, at least GLaDOS ain't a thing. <laughs> In, for now. In the event of flooding, seek air pockets. Well, that's always, um... A relief. To know. Let me down. Ah, okay. So we just walk across this wonderful little pipe right here. And walk back through this pipe right here. Man, those the lights are bright. Is just through here. I'm an authorized personnel. Antimatter risks. No horse play. Do not open containers yourself. So. That's a problem. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's meant to happen. Just to test your uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Thank you very much. Uh, my reflexes are well tested, so. Yeah, I, I'm very awake now. All right. So after that entire prologue into the game. Um, I hope you all are enjoying it so far. They they went all out for this this mod. I forgot how uh, how much effort was put into this. 
they really wanted you to feel like it's a massive massive underground system that's so extremely sophisticated and we're gonna learn more about Cave Johnson's history and it was 1952 I'm not sure what year it is currently so we could even be decades decades maybe maybe even hundreds and hundreds of years in the future I don't know much about the portal stories mail lore but we'll have to we'll have to find out Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please give me a subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.